<coughs> okay, so this is my video on how to solve a 4x4 Rubik's Cube, which is also known as um, a Rubik's Revenge. So, the first step to solve this is doing the centers. And unlike on a 3x3 Rubik's Cube, which has one fixed center, the 4x4 doesn't. So you don't really know what what center is where. So I see, look, it's red, yellow. You don't know. So the way to solve this is solve one center. And since you are, if you already scrambled it up, and you don't know like wh where the centers belong or something, just look at the corners like yellow, yellow. This corner is yellow, red, blue. So if I do the yellow right here and red on top and blue on the right you get three colors so you can just do the opposite of the colors if you can figure it out for like for a Rubik's brand it's blue to green red to orange and white to yellow okay so we saw one center like I'll do white because three of them are done to solve a center you make a pair like a white this one, this is already a pair. These two, white. You do connect, make two of them. Then you just insert. You put them together. So then you do the opposite. So there's yellow. This white is the opposite of yellow. You do yellow. So to do, so like, if I see a pair here. I don't do anything to it. I make the other one. Jeez, right here. So I do a U, then I do L prime, but I have to be careful because since I did L prime, it destroys this. So on the top, I have to do a U prime and L back to restore the centers. Now I do the same thing. L prime, you switch and replace. You switch and replace L prime to two L. So. That's it. That's basically what you do. Then, for the four remaining centers, you don't do this. You do, um, you make a pair the same way. Then, two pairs, one, there. Now, instead of doing the opposite, you do the adjacent. That means, like, the next two. So, blue, I do this center and this center. Red or orange, not green. It gives you problems if you do green. So, to do red, red's on right when blue and yellow, blue's on front and yellow's on top. So, same thing. Be careful to save this. Now, red's right here, red. You, you do it twice instead of doing it once and then. There, red, blue, yellow, white. The last two one, ones are pretty easy. Since I know green's on top, I'll just, and there's a pair right here, I'll just R, U2, L. And now it becomes an easy case, which you switch these two. It's R, U, R prime, U, R, U2. There. Now the centers are done. So now you can actually know where, where the colors need to go blue. So blue when it's solved. Because when it's scrambled, it's all you don't know where they are. So now we do edge pairing before before we solve it as a three by three. Edge pairing is easy. It's not hard. I do that. I do that because the white, there's a white, white green. I do this slice move, it connects them. But I, I can't just do that after return it. So I find the orange. It's right here. So I switch them out in a way so that the orange green lands on the bottom instead of the top edge. 
then I slice back and I get two. This way you can get as many as six at a time. I'll do four. I'll try. Do four. Let's see. There it is. Okay. So I slice. I get these two. Now when I return it, I need the orange blue, so I look for it. It's right here. So I switch it out. I switch it. I switch this pair with this pair right here. Well, this at these edges. Now when I slice, now now I got that one. So when I slice back like that, I'll get that edge. But now there's a white orange, so I need to switch it out with a white orange because it's on top. I switch this was like this. Switch a slice. Now we have I have six. So basically, that's what you do. You you switch and replace them. There. And blue red. Set it up. Make sure these colors don't match. Then you can slice. Well, they they won't match, but slice. Blue, blue, red, red, blue. Now you replace the edge group. It's right here. So I do R prime U two R, and it places it right here. So when I slice back, I'll get these two. Now. We have all of them, so we can easily solve it as a three by three. So, oh, so solve it if you solve it as a three by three. Well, if you if you're watching this, I I hope that you know how to solve a three by three because it's important. Let's see how far we get with this. Okay, we have the parody. On a three by three Rubik's cube, there's no case like this. You, we need to flip three edges and that is not possible because like when it's yet when they're connected they count as one edge. So when you flip three edges and that's not possible. But we that's a parity case. So to solve it we do R2 B2 U2 L U2 R prime U2 R U2 F2 R, F2, L prime, B2, R2. There. Now it becomes a case that on a 2 by 3 still. So. Okay. And now we have another parity case. Let's solve this as far as we can. You can just switch this one with that one, and that's it. We solve it. So this is another one. It's R two, U two, R two, U two, both of them. Then R two, U two. So it's just R two, top, then R two, both of them, and R two, then the middle one. So that's it.